Good evening. My name is Chloe Hardy, and welcome to the fifth annual MHS Film Festival brought to you by the Film Arts Society and Merrimack TV, who's here to broadcast it all live. It will also be available on their online network on behalf of the videography program. We are so excited to see you here tonight. The students have worked diligently semesters one and two and are thrilled to present their films here. This, uh, the process for selecting these films are simple. After the films have been created, each the students and staff judge the films. The top 10 from each category are presented here tonight. Did I say we're excited to be back in business? <laughs> Sit back and enjoy. Don't forget to get some snacks at intermission. My mom is going to kill me. A bike, the healthiest and most efficient way of transportation. You love your bike from the day. You get it to the day it breaks. Your bike will take you places many never see from deep in the woods to the neighborhood streets but as your bike tv is to you you have to give back in the form of maintenance and one day your bike will break beyond repair when your bike is thrown out some is recycled but most is trashed this causes 4242 cubic meters of emissions this truly is a love that saves and kills the earth Can you believe it? We have two weeks off of school. I know, it's a nice surprise. Honey, I'm... What the heck is that? Wait, I can explain. No, you can't. Please, I can explain. I can't take it anymore, Chris. This is the end. Goodbye.
Man, I'm bored. Yeah, me too, man. Dude, let's go throw a football. Real, dude. All right, let's go. Go, catch it. Yo, man, I got you. Hey girls, Hi. there's been an accident with your mom. You guys need to come with me. How do you know our mom? Uh, I work with her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where are you taking us? Uh, don't worry about it. Someplace safe. A tracker shows a target moving towards our location, Vlad. We best get ready. Right. Ready? No. Yeah. This is Detective Mercutio. We've arrived on the scene. Where are the police officers? Didn't they have gotten here before? Hello? Well, I don't have any cell service. Use your phone for this? Do I look like I own a walkie-talkie? I don't know, man. Some kind of unprofessional. Look, let's just deal with the case that we have on our hands. This is typical. I see it all the time. All right. Kind of a weird location, though. Uh, the school ground is kind of sad if you think about it. I hope it's not a kid. It probably is. The police are usually here before us. They'll be here soon, Marley. Now come on, let's not waste any time. He doesn't look dead. Are you sure they checked his vitals? Nothing. And it doesn't look like his neck was broken or that he was strangled either. Maybe he was poisoned? I assume we haven't been able to run any tests like that yet. What was that? I don't know. We probably have another victim on our hands. We're the police. We can't just leave the scene unattended. Detective Mandel, this is out of our hands. We can only hope that whoever that was is okay on their own. The Billy I know wouldn't let someone die like that. Well, Marley, as you know, it's standard protocol. It is not our job to save people. It's a living person, Billy. You know what? We're living people too, and I'm gonna keep them. When you enjoy this job, you do the risks. I'm going. <laughs> Billy! Billy! Shoot! I got officer down! I'm 
very proud of you for coming back here. I know it's been hard this past year. It was my first case. I just didn't know what to do. Well, it's very beneficial to come back to not fear this place. Seeing it, all the memories are just rushing back. Did you watch it happen? What? Did you see it? Wait a minute. Well, I guess we're doing this again. What the f I'm gonna do the same thing.
know, but have you ever heard the story of the candy man? One Halloween night, two little girls, just like you, were trick or treating when their packets of candy were snatched out of their hands by a mysterious person. They started to chase it, trying to see if they could catch him. When the little girls finally catch up to him, they disappear along with the person. They were never to be seen again. We have a problem. Uh, yeah, you took my book. What? No, how can you even read this? You're dumb as rocks. It's so mean. Whatever, can we just deal with this? Yeah, whatever. What's the problem? Floor Train Sparkles is back. What? What What are we going to do? I don't know. You're the very person here, not me. Okay, well, um, let's just uh, find him before we hunt him down or anything. Sounds and like then we can track him down. Sounds like a plan, boss. But first, let me check out my book. How can you even read? Who's the fairy princess here, huh? Okay. What can I do for your voice today? I'm here to check out my book. The Rainbow Fish. Okay, nice choice. Hey. That's not librarian, though. Oh, dang. Well, definitely wasn't expecting that. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Taking a minute. Ha, ha, ha. Lord Shane Sparkles? How could you let a thing like this happen? Yeah, it's not my fault. Yeah, well, it's up for you guys because you're going to get locked in here. And you won't be able to get out. What? <laughs> <Seriously>? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to do this. I got my book too. Ha. Come on. Ha. 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 My What are we going to do? Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Sparkles? Yeah. You do realize you're locked in here too, right? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No. I have a key. Guys, I think we have a major problem. I, I, I think we might be locked in here. Yeah, we know that already. And nobody told me? Yeah, well, you guys are locked in here. I have a key. Give me that key. No. Give it to me. Stop. It's not fair. Stop it. You stop it. No. It's fine. I guess I'll just have to fight you for it. Oh, really? Let's see what you got, big boy. I really didn't want to do this, Lord Chain Sparkles, but I guess... I guess I have to. <sighs> You, you know, I, I'm allergic to green glitter, specifically.
Hi, I'm uh, Jackson Rodick. I play for U18 uh, Monarchs Hockey. Hi, Jackson. Um, who do you aspire to be? Um, well, I aspire to be like my father. Um, played all the way up to uh, to the NHL. He was drafted. Um, I feel like that's a pretty good goal for mine. So. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, another question. How do you feel being Jeremy Ronick's nephew? I mean, there's a lot of pressure, but, uh, you know, there's another JR. Like... I'm here too. Hi, I'm uh, Ronan Keenan with the New Hampshire Junior Monarchs. Uh, I'm translating for him. Bonjour, mon nom Jamie Morris. Je viens du Canada, puis je viens pour les. Je viens ici pour jouer pour les Monarchs de New Hampshire. His name is Remy Morris. He's from Canada. Remy Morris, who do you aspire to be? Who do you want to be one day? <laughs> Um, je suis très inspiré par uh, le joueur que j'ai joué à Montréal, qui s'appelle Georges Arroc. Um, on a le même style, puis uh, you know, une journée, j'aimerais jouer comme lui. He wants to play hockey. <laughs> um, Hi, Ronan Keenan. Who do you aspire to be? Uh, personally, I would like to be the full-time owner of a Chick-fil-A franchise. But, yeah, that would be my goal. Remy Morris, where would you like to commit? Where do you want to go to school? Um, <laughs> J'aimerais bien aller jouer pour l'Université de Boston, uh, Division 1 pour dans la NCAA. Puis, uh, non, j'aimerais être repêché, surtout par les, uh, les Canadiens de Montréal. C'est uh, où ce que je vais être, puis uh, je pense que j'ai une bonne chance. Southern New Hampshire University. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ronan Keenan, how does it feel being a two-time USP All-Star? Uh, you know, it's truly a blessing. Uh, you know, we had, uh, it was an under-21 league, and there were lots of people with children. Uh, some were married. So, you know, it was quite an honor to walk in and just immediately just ruin their lives. But, you know, it's a goal that I think I can, uh, I can add more on top of. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tyler Rich. I'm from the University of North Dakota. Tyler, who do you aspire to be? UND starting goalie. I'm coming for a spot. Okay, Tyler. Um, what is your favorite go-to snack? Oh my God, is that That's Tyler Urich? White cheddar Cheez-Its, 100%. <laughs> you said white cheddar Cheez-Its? Yes, sir. Hi, uh, Marcus Bolo. I'm uh, the fastest player in the U18 Monarchs, and I'm committed to Northern Essex Community College. Hi, uh, Marcus. Who do you aspire to be? I aspire to be uh, Tyler Urich. She's a D1 commit, full ride, and... That's just my dream. Oh wait, we got a fan that has a question. Hi, this is uh, a fan. Yeah. Um, how does it feel to be the ugliest kid on the New Hampshire Junior Monarchs? Um, I'm not really sure. I'll go get Remy Morris about that one. <laughs> He's kind of an ugly kid, but you know, it's whatever. I'm bored. What do you want to do? I don't know, something fun. I would always do the same thing. You want to go walk around, maybe in the woods? Sure, that works. I just have to tell my mom first. Bye, Mom! We're going out to the woods! Okay, bye. Oh, I don't know. Let's go check it out. No way! Let's go inside! Dude, I can see inside. There's nothing in here. We're good. Alright, let's go. Creepy. Yo, look at this. My god. I wonder if there's anything else around here. Whoa, look at that!
Look at all of Faith's biology homework. Oh my word. How is she supposed to even do all that by Friday? Mac, what you looking at? Your biology homework. You have to finish all of that by Friday? Yeah, I don't remember being that swamped with homework. Like, I remember swimming in a pool of it, but not like a thick swamp like that. Yeah, it's a lot, but I figured out how to stay afloat. Yeah, right. You're literally like the Titanic. <laughs> Whatever, homeschooler. Meow. Wow. I would say I could help you with this, but I don't remember any of it. Yeah, it's fine. I have my book for reference. I know, I'm sorry, I just, I didn't know if you wanted to play basketball because we never hang out anymore. 
I'm sorry. I'm busy right now. Maybe later. Right. Sorry for bothering you. Wait. Yeah? Close the door behind you. Hey, Mom. Where's Dad? Oh, um... He had a really, really important project he had to work on. Couldn't have taken a day off of work for my wedding day. Well, honey, it's not like he wanted to miss it. Right, just like how he didn't want to miss my childhood. I never knew him. All I wanted was to build a relationship with him. Let's go. This place holds bad memories for you. leaving in 10 minutes. Great. Where's the other one? Are you ready? Yeah, I guess I'm just missing a lot of socks. Sorry, go get done what you need to, okay?
Hey. Hey, come outside. I have a surprise for you. Okay, I'll be right out. No way! Pretty nice, right? She's all yours. Hey Griff, do you want to go outside for a walk? Sure, but we have to be careful. It's really slippery. Eh, we'll be okay. Careful, it's slippery out. Eh, don't worry about it. I started skiing around two years old. I loved it and started progressing over the years. Here I am now starting to realize all the fun comes with possible crashes and injuries. One thing I made sure to remember is to never try something your skills aren't capable of. You have to take risks and have fun to progress. So now you just want to get out there and show them what you got. When you crash, always make sure to get up and try again unless you're injured. Just. Have fun. I don't know why you're being so negative. Honey, I'm not being negative. The forecast has no snow tomorrow. Well, I believe we'll have a snow day. Okay, suit yourself. Just go to bed early, please. Oh, my gosh. Dave is so gross. Why are my parents making me watch this disgusting brat? I was supposed to be with my friends right now, totally partying! Um, I'm sorry about that. It, it was an accident. Are you serious right now? That is absolutely... Attractive and sweet. I need to confess something to you. What's up, Trish? I... Love...
Cody, can I come down and do my laundry? Yep. Thank you. Cody! What's wrong? I think I, I think I saw someone. And I think you're crazy. But I... I, I no, I, no. I've been here all day, all night. No one has come through. No one is in there. Mate, yeah, yeah, you're right. You need to relax. Yo, wanna go for a drive? I'm bored. Nah, bro, I'll chill here, man. Let's just go, we'll have fun. Dude, I don't know, I, I got a weird feeling. Dude, let's just go, don't be weird, dude. Alright, let's just go. Chill! Dude, I know what I'm doing. Dude, just don't kill us, bro. Dude, it's alright. Just chill. Yo! 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 Are we going on board? Nah, dude. Let's just stay here, man. Dude, let's just go. It'll be fun. Alright, bro. Let's just go.
time, honey. Who dropped you off? Yeah, Dad picked me up and dropped me off. What are you cooking, Mom? It smells amazing. I'm making some chicken and rice and cutting some zucchini. Go get in the shower, and when you get out, then I'll be ready. Hmm, maybe I should go take a shower too, so then dinner will be ready when we both come out. that a robber or a ghost just stole all our food or the fact that I'm insanely hungry, Mom. Well, definitely that someone just broke in and took all the food. <laughs> what are we going to do for dinner? Pizza. What other options do we have? McDonald's. Oh, totally. I'd rather not have dinner. <laughs> so who are we calling? Police or pizza guy? <laughs> I'm partially serious. Well, let's order the pizza, and then I'll decide if I'll call the cops on this. <laughs> okay. My water broke! Go, 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 go! Come on, Alex. Come on out. I love you so much, Alex Thomas Lavender. Bye, Mom. Heading to school. All right. Have a good day, sweetie. Try. Why do you walk like that? That's weird. Oh, sorry, man. I just sprained my ankle. All right, good. I didn't want to be friends with a disabled freak, you know? <laughs> yeah, me either, man. All right, see you, dude. Later, man. Hey! I know that your ankle isn't actually sprained. Do you know what I do to people with disabilities? Hand over your money right now, or I'm gonna make your disability even worse. I need that for dinner tonight. My mom doesn't have any food to give me. Do you think I care about you and your stupid family? Learn to walk right, and people will actually like you. Thanks for your money, kid. See ya.
Bro, do you need to talk? Why can't I be like everybody else? No one looks at me the same. I'm just a disabled nobody. Alex, others' opinions don't matter. Just know that you are very special. Look at your disability as a superpower. You're oh. unique, and I love you no matter what. Can you just leave me alone? Hey, Lampy, what's up? Bumpy Road, eh? You want me to carry you, sweetie? Hey! I know that your ankle is an actual sprain. Do you know what I do to people with disabilities? Hand over your money right now, or I'm gonna make your disability even worse. You know what, Phil? No. I'm not giving you any money. Excuse me? What did you just say to me? No, Bill. You didn't take advantage of me because I'm different. What I've realized is I don't need others to like me to feel like I belong. As long as I like myself, that's all that matters. Whatever, loser. At least I'm popular. Don't ever live near me again. It's not the disability that defines you. It's how you deal with the challenges the disability presents you with. Hey, what's up? Hi, do you want to hang out? Of course I do. When will you be coming over? I can come over now. Do. do you want to play with chalk? Look, there's chalk.
Hey John, you want to come over and play some Xbox? Bruh, yeah! And set it up, I'll be there a little bit. You got it. You need this shit on. Back. It was just a game. Come on, man. Dude, it was just a game. No, I've had enough. Dude, come on. Dude, are you... Come on. Come on. Come on back, man. You're my worst. <laughs> okay, I you gotta go you. make up my math test. So let's see you, Holly. Something healthier. Mini muffins are healthy. You need to start getting up earlier and making something healthy for breakfast. Yeah, whatever. Come see me after class. Okay. You're not in trouble. Just want to clear something up. Yeah, I know. Okay. Is everything okay? Your grades haven't been looking the best. Usually you're an A or B student. Yeah, I just, I feel overwhelmed with school. Sometimes I try to focus, but I can't. You're my worst student. What? That's right, detention after school for the next month. You, you can't do that. Can't do what? You don't need detention for a month. I never said that. You didn't? No, why would I do that? Give you detention for a month for getting a bad grade? <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> hi Holly! Oh hi Julia, how are you? Um, I had a really weird conversation with my teacher today. What do you mean weird? Um, he gave me back my test. Then he told me to see me after class. And then he, like, he told me I was a bad student and gave me a detention. Then he claimed to say that he never said any of those things, and then brushed it off like nothing happened. It's weird if I've ever heard it. I know, I'm, I'm starting to think it's all in my imagination, but I'm not sure. Just let it go. No one cares. What do you mean? 
Everything is all about you. Just shut up. Julia. Julia. You really think I make everything about me? I never said that. <laughs> okay, I gotta go make up my math test. <laughs> See you, Holly. What? Bye. So you just laughed her off and I just nothing even happened? Yeah, the same thing happened with Holly, too. That's really odd. You don't think it's on your head, do you? I mean, I don't think so. Well, what can I do to help? You can start by not following me everywhere. Okay, Julia, calm down. No, you can't even help me with my situation. I don't know how to help in this situation. Why are you even mad about this anyways? Mad about what? Julia. What? Are you, are, are you okay? It's happening to me too. I knew it. it. It wasn't just me. We need to get down to the bottom of this. Yeah. What do you think has been triggering this feeling? Um, it usually starts in the morning. Uh, what do you do first thing in the morning? Uh, I shut my alarm off, get dressed, and eat. That's it. Do you wear a certain thing every day? I don't think so. What about you? No. Has anything been giving you bad vibes? That's it. The mini muffins. The day is the day I started, like, if when I started eating the mini muffins is the day it happened. That's right. I've been eating them too, and my mom said that she heard some bad things about them. Ex exactly. My mom said that too. Let's try not eating them tomorrow and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, Julia, are you eating mini muffins again? Nope. I took your advice for it. You made something healthy? Mm-hmm. Oh, Julia, I'm so proud of you. Good job, Julia. Thanks. Please don't do this. Finally, a 
It's mine. take a quick five minute intermission so there are snacks and waters out in the lobby and after this we'll see our advanced films and then move on to the award section of our night. See you in five!
in this library is a one million dollar check. It's up to you to find it. <laughs> yeah, right. Like anyone would put a one million dollar check in a library. Oh my god, did you hear this story from the seniors that heard from their seniors? Ten years ago, someone hit a million dollar check in this library. Okay, reading this may give one the creeps, but to others, it's addictive like sweets. That makes no sense. These on the true crime section, please. This is a library. The clues have to do with books. The story of the infamous killer, the Candyman. Creeps and sweets, just like the clue said. Reading this is a desire like a dragon spews fire. It's just a circle. Circles. Circles. Um, circle of life ends up in the Ends up in the same spot. <laughs> you got pranked? You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> at least I know I'd be a good detective. I'm pretty good at this. I can't wait for school vacation. I'm so done with this. The only two more hours. Graduating. 
high school couldn't have passed that quickly. It's impossible. Yeah, I was asleep, and I had the weirdest dream. What happened? Well, basically, all these years had passed. I graduated high school, and I was all alone. You have plenty of time until you graduate, so don't worry. People, green packets due tomorrow. Get them in. Yo, what's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, are you coming to the skate park after school? Uh, yeah, I guess. Nice. See you there. See you then, bro. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I just I have a lot to do today. Yeah. Oh, then why are you here? Ah! Almost had that one. Ah. Sure you did, man. Okay, everyone, don't forget, three page double spaced on my desk by Thursday. Jamie, wake up. Essay, due Thursday. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Wait, what day is it today? Tuesday. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, did you get any stuff done last night? Um, I, uh, I mean, hey, you going to the skate park today, bro? I don't know. I, I still have to. I have to make a poster for debate. I have to write my essay. Hey, I'm gonna want you. Come on, it's supposed to be fun, man. Okay, sure, I guess. Nice. nice. Yeah. You know. If you're not gonna be here, you don't have to be here. What do you mean? Like, just figure out what you want to do and do it. I, I guess so, it's just there's so much, and I haven't even taken a second to... Whoa, dude! Guys, come look! That is like the fattest squirrel I've ever seen! Thanks guys, have a great day. See you later. Okay, man. Yeah, I I think I just I hit my head. Yeah, but like, are you okay, man? I'm kind of off lately. 
Yeah, I, I, I think I've, I've just been really overwhelmed. I, I need some time to, uh, time, to... Time to what? Just time. Well, you've got time, and I'm here if you need me. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'll be okay. Yo, there you two are. So, are we going to the skate park today? <laughs> uh, I actually think I'm gonna study. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe we could do something this weekend. Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds good. Alright.
actually begin. How about that? <laughs> All right. So the first one we have tonight is for the Merrimack TV Industry Award and Best Performance Award, we have Justin Slez. Let's hear it for Clo hosting the heck out of this show. Fantastic job, Clo. All right, all right, cool. Uh, Justin will join me in just a moment to give the performance award, but I gotta say, um, I have an honorable mention for the Merrimack TV Performance Award first, uh, the two guinea pigs. Can we hear it for the two guinea pigs from my best friend, Mello? Awesome stuff, so. And now, Justin Sless to give the performance award. Hey everybody, thanks for coming out tonight. Thanks for everyone watching at home too. This is gonna be uh, one of my favorite things to do at Merrimack TV. I think this is my fifth year judging here. So yeah. a lot of great, yeah. <laughs> Give it up for me. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of great stuff tonight. Uh, it's just always very enjoyable to see uh, what the youngins are up to as far as their creative talents and uh, a lot to look forward to in the future by, by the seams of it. So. I'm giving out the, uh, the Best Performance Award, and I couldn't just narrow it down between the three of them, so I'm giving the cast of Sparkalicious Parts 1 and 2 the Best Performance Award because they really, uh, I think they, they really brought it to life. They really threw down, and um, I think the bonus funeral scene at the end really drove it home. So, um, yeah, we'll give it up for the cast of Sparkalicious. Thank you for that. It was awesome, awesome. I just want to echo what Justin said about uh, just Merrimack TV's partnership we have with a, a few different school departments. We get such a kick out of covering your athletic events and your uh, music department's events as well. We just did a, a couple different concerts. We did a cavalcade of bands and your spring concert, and I know there's some chorus members and some band members here tonight, so let's hear it for them. Well, and, Oh, that's right. Sure. Well, why don't we give them both to both parties there, yeah? Let's hear for your teacher, Mr. Shaughnessy, for putting this together. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm happy that your saxophonist survived um, the attack of the killer tomato, by the way. I just need to get that out there. Um, so we're giving away, we're, we're presenting it rather an industry award, and the, uh, this award we're, we're presenting is for exceptional camera work and the use of music and also being able to tell a complete story in just a few minutes. And we're going to present the Merrimack TV Industry Award to Maggie Caustic and Memories. So if the cast of Sparkalicious is here and Maggie Caustic is here to grab these, they can. Sparkalicious, okay. Next up, we have the Film Arts Society Alumni Award, Caitlin Moran. Oh, yeah. Hello, I'm Caitlin. This is Melissa. She also graduated in 2019 from Merrimack. Um, it's pretty awesome to see that this is still going on. It's super cool that you guys get to make films. Um, with your friends and with all this great equipment. I see like the advancement in, uh, in editing and like the lighting and everything too. It's really cool to see how far it's come. So you guys should be very happy to be part of this program. Um, so yeah, this, this film that we're gonna award, um, I thought it was very funny. I'm a big fan of humor and um, I'm also a writer. So I thought the storyline was very like concise and had a big story that had a beginning, middle, and end, um, which is really awesome because that's not always easy to do. So, uh, Melissa's gonna say. All right, so, the Film Art Society Alumni Award goes to Julia Hodson for The Big Bad Mini Muffins.
Next, for the staff award, we have Jan Monahan Cooney. Good evening. It was so nice to be here all together to watch these films. I think it's been the last two years, maybe three. We've been watching them online, and boy, it was just such a nice treat to all be together and laugh and enjoy the films. Um, I'm so impressed with the work, Michael, that your students are doing, and I know the time that it takes to create these productions, so congratulations on an amazing batch of videos, yeah. So I had a 30 second short film that I was just hanging on, just loved it, loved it. And then at the end, the staff award goes to Breathing Space. I was just really taken. Yeah. The dramatic tension that was caused by the lighting and the unique camera angles and that message of what um, anxiety students feel was really clearly conveyed. So congratulations, cast and crew, breathing spaces. Next, we have the No Silence Media Directors Award, presented by Dakota Barron. Thank you all for having me. Uh, I love being a part of this program. I think, again, it's the fifth year, and uh, Michael does a great job. Um, in earlier years, I was able to participate in some of the classes, and. I can tell you firsthand that the, you know, the teaching he's doing is really excellent. I uh, run a video agency called No Silence Media, where we aim to do great things by empowering others to do great things. And I think that that really starts by teaching people the basics of the arts and how to communicate well. And so I love, I love to see what's going on here. And it's been a wonderful night. Thank you, Michael. Uh, I'm a huge fan of cinematography. And uh, I really appreciated that in this short uh, graduation by Lily Fan Chang. <laughs> Here okay. That was unexpected. All right, and for the very final one of the night, we have Film of the Year chosen by Mr. Shaughnessy, who will close out the show. Can you believe we're in this room together? It's really wonderful. It's so fun. And I just, uh, I'm so proud of all the students. And, and, and you know, I feel like um, every time a student passes in a film, it's an expression of their life, of what they're going through, of uh, the challenges sometimes. And I, I just love it because um, I actually, I think it was our first or second film festival I had some extra tickets left over and I made a big you know Asian fan you know the big fans and I have a little sign that says I'm a fan of your films you know and it has all the tickets you know that makes up the, the anyway so um, I am a fan of their films and um, that's why they're here being shown and um, of course I am so thankful for Merrimack TV to to Cap capture it tonight and then of course um, people can watch it from here on um, infinity and beyond um, so I, I had a hard time a little bit with this choice um, I don't actually judge the movies uh, other than I grade them of course but I don't judge them to so they're you know selected for this I, I have the students and then some staff uh, judge them and that's how it's it's put together um, so this is, for me to say, the film of the year, it's just 
personal for me because I, I get to watch them all and spend time with it. And for me, um, watching Paige Ordway and Amanda Sennett kind of go back and forth with breathing space was really something I'm, I'm going to remember for a long time because we, we almost thought it wouldn't get done. And then Cam came in to the picture, um, who's a student editor and made a wonderful film, um, which it was tossing around in my mind for film of the year too. Um, it, but this group of people came together and worked so well. And, and then of course, you gave the same award to the breathing space. And I'm like, oh, so, uh, okay, well, they can have two awards tonight, you know, because they put a lot of work in. And I was very proud of Paige, especially working uh, to kind of pull it all the way through to the very end. And to, to make a film that has impact and also it was selected as one of the um, selections for the New Hampshire High School Film Festival that, that um, aired at Chunky's uh, a couple weeks ago, which was really special to see that. And um, so I'm going to give this year's Film of the Year award to Paige and Amanda for really spearheading that thought and process. And so let's give them a hand. <laughs> And she's on, she's on her way up, and uh, that's very cool to have someone present when you're giving an award, you know. Um, and it, I do want to close out by saying um, this, this program happens because students come in the door. And so your support of just being here, maybe even sharing this uh, link, because there'll be a link on the Merrimack TV site. So if you have a friend or family, like, you know what, you should have seen this, but maybe you can watch it at home, you know. Go ahead and share it because I think what we'll, we'll end up doing is just garnering more uh, interest for the next phase and the next um, group of students that come through the door. So again, thank you very much for coming as we give this final award to uh, Paige and Amanda. So. Everyone have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for coming. Good night.